So since the release of the Nike Vaporflies in 2016, Nike has continuously shown that the sky is the limit when it comes to fancy shoe technology. And therefore, today I'm going to be trying to turn my Nike Pegasus 36s into sandals. So I actually got this idea from um, Ole Miss's um, Waleed Sullivan. So the Air Manahan is actually really hard work. We have some kind of like scissors that can cut pennies actually. Everett has a pair, he didn't bring it with him. So uh, now I'm the only one who looks like an idiot. But yeah, they're cool. And I just saw him wearing them in one of their old cross country videos and I thought it'd be a great video and cool idea to make these shoes into sandals. So I have these sandals right, or not sandals, but I have these slippers right here. And basically we're gonna try to cut um, about the same design here. We're gonna have this back open, but we're also gonna cut the front of the shoe and have my feet exposed. So yeah, I'm really excited to try to turn these Pegasus 36 into sandals. As you guys saw recently, um, I unboxed the um, Sacconi Times Chaco Endorphin Chilo um, slippers slash sandals thing, recovery shoe, and I'm really enjoying them so far. But yeah, let's get right into this. Okay, so I actually did test out the scissors on these shoes and they seem to work very well. Um, I think you guys can see that right there, maybe. Yeah, right there. Um, it seems like the um, fabric is very soft and the mesh is very easy to cut through. But before I cut the shoes, I'm going to have to take the shoelaces out. Okay, so I'm looking back at um, Waleed's shoes and it looks like he made sure to keep the shoelaces, I think, in there. So I think we're gonna cut it like right here. And then I'm gonna cut right before it gets to um, this white part right here. And then right before I get to tying off the shoelaces, it should work all right. Okay, it is time to move on to the first cuts. I'm gonna cut right here. Okay. Okay, this is actually gonna be really easy. I'm gonna go to the next side. Right now I'm just cutting the back side right here. There. It's very flimsy material. I actually really enjoyed it on the 36. The 37 is honestly not my favorite shoe anymore though. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a complete fail. As you guys just saw, I just freaking cut the scissor or broke the scissors. I guess I guess this material is too hard back here. So we're gonna try to do something else, but I'll be back once I find um, another pair of scissors that are not going to break. <laughs> Okay, so look, I couldn't find any scissors. I'm not gonna use my mom's fancy sewing scissors. You're welcome, mom. But I am going to try to um, rip this off. It's pretty, as you guys can see, it's pretty malleable. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to rip it off. Let's do this though. <laughs> Talk about distance runner arms. <laughs> like, can I pull it? I don't even know at this point. I mean, you guys see these arms. Not that big. At this point, I'm literally considering trying to use this hammer. Might be able to like yank it off like this or maybe even like break up that hard material in the back of the heel. Okay, no luck with the hammer, but I'm going to try um, right back here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but back there, it's pretty, it's pretty soft down there. So I'm gonna try to like use one of my knives because I'm a Boy Scout. I have a lot of pocket knives, so I'm gonna try to use one of my knives and just like slice through it, I guess. Okay, kids, um, don't try this at home. But I'm gonna try this knife right here. It's not the sharpest, but it does have a point. So. Sorry, I didn't focus, but yeah, we're just gonna like try to cut from the back. Always point the knife away from you. 
progress, progress. That is success, guys. Oh my gosh. Look, we're cutting through. Do you hear that? Okay, we are so close. So much more progress than I expected. Look, we are almost there. All we have left is this little chunk right here. And I'm just gonna have to like jab through it, I guess. Come on, tiny distance runner arms. Twist and pull, twist and pull. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. Look at this. It's the first layer of the shoe. I gotta try it on now. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. How does it look? Rate this, rate this fit from one to 10. Okay, and honestly, I could just leave the shoe slash sandal just like that, but I think I'm gonna try and open up the toe area so there's a little bit more breathability in the shoe. Oh, also I took this out, um, the insole, when I was cutting the shoe, but I think I'll put it, I'll put it back in there completely once I have the shoe um, cut, so I think the grip will be a lot better when I try it on again. Okay, so I am almost done here, as you can see. I just gotta yank that off, and then I think the first um, pair or the first shoe will be done. Okay, guys, it is time for the grand reveal. But are you ready? Set, and here we are. This is what it looks like so far. Um, I like it. I don't even know if it needs the shoelaces but I'm going to add the shoelace in and then show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I finished lacing the shoe and this is finally what the shoe looks like. Excuse the toes, but um, if you want toe pics, um, DM me on Instagram. Just kidding, but I don't know. Guys, are, are shoelaces overrated or not? I kind of like it because I think it makes the shoe more secure. But yeah, this is, this is the fit right here. How do you guys like it? <laughs> But um, I'm gonna finish the rest of the shoes now. I have one more pair left on the right shoe, and then I'm gonna show you what they look like, and then give you my final thoughts on them. Okay, so I'm honestly pretty proud of these bad boys. Um, they've held up pretty well. They honestly feel more comfortable than they did when I was running in them, so that's, that's pretty funny. But I was able to jump in them. The traction's still good. Way better than a normal slide. But yeah, they turned out really great. But yeah, this is definitely one of my um, most unusual videos that I've made on this channel. I really enjoyed making it though. I've kind of been wanting to make these sandals since I saw um, Waleed Sullivan's sandals probably like a month ago. And I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys liked them and if I should make a video. And you guys um, said yes. So I'm finally glad that I made the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will probably see you next Thursday and maybe before then because I have some other cross country videos coming up soon. But peace.